Hey, what's poppin' with y'all real 16 TV? Today what I want to talk to y'all about is being overwhelmed and different things like that. And, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you're gonna wake up in the morning and not want to go to work. You're gonna be tired of this place because of what happened to you the day before or whatever. You're not gonna want to go. Or you might be in a relationship. Uh, him or her might be prying on your life to an extent. Not saying that's happening, but just giving examples. Him or her might be prying on your life. You know what I'm saying? Trying your issues, trying your opposites and stuff like that. That might cause you to have, when I say trying your opposites, I mean like anything they know that you don't like, they just doing it just to, I don't know. So, some, I feel like some girls do that uh, just to, you know what I'm saying? Start little petty arguments because they like seeing that energy from you. But continuing forward, uh, you know what I'm saying? It might be bills or whatever the fuck your problems are uh that are just weighing you down and stuff like that but in the case for us people that got dreams because I, I i'm be 100 i try to talk to the motherfuckers that don't got dreams and stuff like that and uh try to tell them it's best to go it's in your best interest you know what i'm saying to find you a hobby and preferably a hobby that might be able to pay you later down the line but it's in your best interest you know what i'm saying to to have more than one way to make some money and take five strains of money five ways of money coming in to be a millionaire i didn't said the other word wrong uh you know what i'm saying and for you people that got goals i want y'all to remember too because uh, like everything is overwhelming and it sucks you know what i'm saying when stuff comes to weigh on your head but if you have a dream if you have a dream it should be worth doing you know what i'm saying the dreams of men will never die facts martin luther king had a dream got shot in his melon you feel me this sounds and y'all might be like bro that's raw well they were trying to teach black people that if you have a dream you, he gonna get shot in the head i think but just to move on past that or whatever he had a dream he got shot in his head and the dream lived on so you know what i'm saying what i'm basically saying is if you care if you care so much about your dream and what you're doing no matter you know what i'm saying if your job dies if your you know what I'm saying? Your relationship dies if you're, um, what's the last one I said? If your money issues die, you know what I'm saying? Your dream will still live on if you, if you, if you believe in it very hard. Hey, bro, that was cold. I did it. You like how I tied in the Martin Luther King thing? Y'all might not. Y'all might not. That might be a little vicious for uh, television, but, uh, or YouTube, but whatever. But Jeff Bezos said it the best, though. When it comes to all the little shit in between and all that stuff, if you don't know how to adapt or move on and all that different things, and, like, you got to be stubborn about your goals but flexible about the way that you get there. If the if the idea is to make it to the top, and in case of me, my shit is just to help whoever I can help once I get the chance. Like, I don't want to, like, be breaking my pockets for people, of course, but if I got, if I got like money come in we gonna make it to where everybody else can feed their family too fuck just me i don't give a fuck me and my family don't even give a loan so i'd rather see the the other people's families that i know for a fact been checked on me and looked in on me more than my own people have and make sure they right so that's how i honestly feel about it but that being said what i'm basically saying is it wouldn't matter if i like picked up a mic and said i'm gonna rap today it wouldn't matter if I uh, told myself I'm going to help the homie with his little wood shop idea and start being a wood shopper. I ain't never really posted on the thing, but usually I have a hoodie on now. Well, not that last video, but I try to have my hoodies on now. I didn't got a couple of them off, too. There's a couple people wearing my shirts and stuff like that. There's some real ones, you feel me? I got shirts and stuff on the way. The homie got shirts on the way. Shout out, old dog. The homie rap, you know what I'm saying? But my point by saying him, too, is, look, he got multiple things going on, too. You feel me? We very flexible on the way to make it to the top. You know what I'm saying? But we're stubborn about what we're going to do. We've been doing this since... I've been doing this shit since I was, like, 18. I got videos when I was 18. I, one day when I edited it, right, I'm going I'm to show y'all some shit. Of me, when I was fucking 18, trying to be a YouTuber back then, and the only reason I didn't is because you hang around monkeys, your life is a fucking circus. I said that before. I was with my mom, my aunts, all these people that are from an older generation. And when it comes to, like, African-American people, before that generation were slaves, that was shit wasn't too much before that like my great grandma she was probably a slave so like that being said like these motherfuckers are scared 
of all the stuff that happened in Jim and all that stuff. And so they just don't believe that an African American can really make it like that unless it's a special case. So I'm dealing with people like that to where and they're not trying to understand anything that belongs to the white man or any of that stuff. That's some real shit. I ain't even trying to be racial or weird. This is how they that's how they are. They weird like that. That being said though, it was hard to it was hard to try to be a, v, a rapper with people like that and uh, infringing on my confidence. You know what I'm saying? I've seen a lot of kids that got parents that fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? And if there's a parent watching this, support your kid and whatever he do, bro. Why are you sitting here being like, well, he didn't do this. He's not going to be a doctor. He's not going to. So what? If this motherfucker becomes a rapper and you supported his career, bitch, you're going to be riding way fatter than a doctor can ever have you going. Unless you more care about like the saving life part and if that's the case then you right only only really a doctor can say your life you know what i'm saying only really a doctor another man can't save your life from you know what i'm saying basic knowledge but a doctor can really save you so if that's your thing yeah do the doctor thing or like i said if you want to be a police officer and shit, that's very helpful so if there's anybody that is um you know what i'm saying very uh turn this alarm off if there's anybody that's very you know what i'm saying passionate about helping people but don't don't completely agree with some of the stuff that happens with certain officers get out there and keep my black ass from getting shot <laughs> oh god get out there and help out bro for real real talk anything anything i'm serious librarians and stuff like that and especially if you're a minority no disrespect to anybody but if you're a minority they already think we don't do shit they already think we some lazy motherfuckers. Don't prove them right. Don't prove them right. They already think we we lazy. And none of the shit true neither. But don't prove them right. Because the young generation, I feel like the generation up under me, that don't know nothing about, like, ain't been with their black community ever, especially around where I live at and stuff like that. They so prone to act like what they think black people supposed to act like. Like, we yell at shit, we tear shit up. We Like, they think that's just what we do. There's some smart motherfuckers that are black, you know what I'm saying? Look up Larry Hoover. Look up them people. You're going to see they wasn't doing no regular, I'm going to rob a house, I'm going to shoot up the neighborhood type shit. They was doing some enterprise and stuff. We about to make some black... Or, uh, you know what I'm saying, any minority businessman, you know what I'm saying? And if you're broke and you're white, you're a minority too, because there's plenty of fucking people that are more well off than you and us. So stop proving these people right, because they calling y'all rednecks crazy too. That being said, though, uh, I don't even know where I was. <laughs> I done dragged off into some other, to, to, to no man's land with it, but basically my point is you we need you to be in this position but fa parents basically need to support what their kids is on you know what i'm saying whatever it's on because if not you're gonna turn it into just a dumb hobby because you think it's a dumb hobby and you don't plan on supporting it but you forgetting like this is not no competition and i think parents think it's a competition too they like oh my daughter doing something uh that is not an example because i just realized how that could sound like i'm talking to somebody in specific i'm just using like everybody as a thing but my kid blah 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 is doing something let me show her i'm doing something too let me show him i'm doing something too because my mom does that that's what my mom does my mom like if i go hey mom i'm doing this bro well I, i'm try hard you know what i'm saying you don't even gotta do nothing just support a little bit show it send it to your friends everything and you know what i'm saying when i make it one day i got you of course you know what i'm saying but me and my mom don't get along and stuff and that usually it always ends in some sort of random ass argument I ain't gonna lie, last time, though, I just couldn't deal with it, you know what I'm saying? So I was just like, man, don't talk to me no more. But at the end of the day, she's still a hustler. But that's not the problem that I had with it. It's the, it's the support. So the support system, like I put in that one video, you, the people around you is a very strong support system. If the people around you hear that you're doing something and they not hype over it, just to be hype. Like, my friends, I started making these clothes. They 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 wouldn't give a fuck which one of our friends really made the clothes. It's not about that. It's the fact that we got some shit. Like, this shit right here that I'm wearing, I know the nigga that made it. You know what I'm saying? And I hope they don't get mad at me for using the N-word a lot. But real talk, I think... Uh, I think that support system really does a lot to a motherfucker. It really changes the way they believe in themselves and stuff like that. I feel like, yeah, 
It happens. So you just can't get over clustered. You, you can't just let this overwhelm you. It happens. The world does not like you. you let's be 100. It will, it, it's indifferent about you. It doesn't care that you're there. It doesn't care that you're not there, bro. You got to you gotta make some change. You want to do a wave on this planet? You got to start that wave. This one, nobody you want to hear from no nobody. Nobody want to pay attention to no nobody. And you and people sitting here arguing like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I get all right. Fair enough. Success success doesn't isn't established by what you could do, but if you but if you a person that has confidence in in your opinion and stuff like that, and you believe that you could help a lot of people out, why not do everything in your possibility to get to a place where you could push a wave out? And, ch and change the trajectory of how other lives go. If you're not willing to do that, you know what I'm saying? You semi, you know what I'm saying? You semi weird to me. You feel me? Because it's like, nigga, why, why would all this, with all the stuff, all the adversity, you know what I'm saying, that certain people go through, all the problems that certain people go through, would you stop and be like, I'm just going to smoke this reefer, you know what I'm saying, because I smoke too, but I'm on this video talking, I'm using my time wisely, I don't condone it the other way, but, the time, but I'm just going to smoke this reefer, and I'm going a, I'm to a fucking waste my day away, I'm going to, you know what I'm saying, find something to like buy my time for six seven hours some you know what i'm saying from it doesn't matter from games to doing blah blah to uh you know what i'm saying i don't know anything you there's, there's a lot of shit that just wastes your time if it's not helping your situation if it's not becoming an asset so you can take care of your liabilities fuck it stop doing it bro Stay stubborn about the goal, flexible about the things. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta change the way you do that, and still get to your your end goal. So, yeah, I was really high talking, and that's a good reason not to smoke weed, kids. Um, that being said, that's the end of my speech, cause I'm, I'm gonna end up <laughs> doing this shit for 20 hours. I ain't gonna lie to you, I was feeling passionate about that. But uh, like, subscribe, and share. Continue to fuck with me. Um, I appreciate the support. Y'all some real ones. Y'all really helping out. I got 95 subscribers. When I started this bitch, I had zero, of course. Everybody knows that. That was a dumb way to say it. But uh, I'm trying to get to like 195, you feel me? But if I can at least get to 100, that would be cool. So if anybody can help out with sharing and stuff like that and uh, getting it out to your people, I would truly appreciate that. And thank y'all for being real ones.